Huawei, proud sponsor of TechBusters. More and more these days, it's becoming necessary to use alternative means of power in everyday life. Today, we visited Orofile Primary School, which has embraced this change. It's known as the first green school in South Africa and has now made the switch to solar power. In fact, it uses a unique solar powered toilet system. Our producer, Cindy Mieza, filed this report. Orofile Primary School is often referred to as the first green school in South Africa due to the way it was built. We know that in South Africa almost all the schools were built in brick and mortar, but this one is far different from that. It was, they used the razor bill and also they tried to make it uh, environmentally friendly by providing the solar system and uh, also the water that uh, is being used in the school, especially for the garden, is the water that is used by children to wash hands. Then it, this water is then uh, channeled into a reservoir and it is then reused to water the grass, the gardens, and also to clean the floors of the school. The school has already put solar panels on its roof to supply classrooms with electricity. It's now taking that a step forward with solar power toilets that do not make use of traditional sewerage pipelines. Why would you use solar power on a toilet? Well, inside these toilet systems there are little water pumps that are pumping the sewage and the water around and they need some power. The whole point of this, these toilets is that they're renewable energy, they are renewable technologies, they're renewable for water as well. Um, so basically, as people use the toilets, um, the sewage is put into the system, it's mashed up, it's eaten up by bacteria, similar to municipal sewage, uh, but there, obviously there's, there's movements that's going to be made, so there, there are pumps are pumping and slurring things, there are different filter systems inside there, um, and eventually it is returned back to the system tank, to the water that's been processed can be flushed through again, and that needs power to do that. A sealed system doesn't need any more water than what you put in the system. Any top-ups due to evaporation can be made with rainwater. It can come from the kitchen sinks, from bath water, grey water. It can all be processed and made into clean water. And sometimes people say, what happens to the excess water? What, what are you going to do with that? Because if it's too much rainwater. Well, the system actually pushes the excess water into the ground, and that water is agriculturally safe. It's an environmentally friendly toilet system that uses bacteria and nanotechnology to break down the waste matter in an adapted treatment tank buried in the ground, all powered by the sun. What, what we have here basically is a, it's a small smart sand uh, system, the anaerobic one. What it is, it's a, a tank that is in the ground and inside that tank it's uh, two more tanks all uh, uniquely positioned into each other. Once you put the system in the ground like this, you fill it up with approximately 1,500 litres of water and uh, you add your toilet top structures and you do your connections uh, uh, to the toilet systems and so on. Then uh, we uh, put some bacteria in and we add some um, uh, food for the bacteria just to start. Now once that is all, the system is then ready to use. So what happens is uh, a person uses the system, flush the toilet, uh, it falls into your first chamber where the biological process takes place and the sewer is actually or, uh, uh, eaten up by, uh, consumed by the bacteria. And then from uh, there of course once the toilet is flushed, your system is empty. That means your third tank where your clean water is, uh, fills up the system immediately, causing a sort of a level drop in the, uh, uh, between the three chambers and then the water equalizes out, forcing the water going through the nano filters, cleaning the water so uh, uh, further uh, like that. Urifile Primary School is the only school at the moment that makes use of the solar-powered sanitation technology. When we got the opportunity to look at the different schools, when we heard that we had the greenest school in Hauteng, um, when we spoke to the headmaster, he was all for supporting renewable technologies and it was a great match. And um, yeah, he's promoting it, he's, he wants to be even greener, so the greenest school is even greener now.